All right, hi everybody, welcome back. Ryan here once again. Standing behind me here is some new equipment we just purchased for a new business venture. So we've uh, decided to branch off and uh, start basically a business specializing in emissions issues, uh, DPFs, DOCs, SCRs, sensors, all that good stuff. Uh, so we've bought the, the whole thermal cleaning system from Filter Therm. So I'm gonna kind of do a quick run through here down the equipment, show you what you got. Um, we've done a little bit of renovations back here in the back room. We've cleaned this up, put some tile down, covered up the old lap board uh, with some nice drywall and all that good stuff. So kind of looking to go ahead and put in a shop back here just specializing in emissions problems. So first of all, we've got the inspection table. This is where all the action kind of starts. Uh, you got a scale and there's a light in this unit here. So first thing, we're going to weigh a unit and uh, that way you get a baseline. After you clean it, you can check it again and you're going to have your differential, what, what, how much carbon or soot you got out of it. And then there's a light in this and that's actually to see if there's a crack in the filter. So that's where everything starts. So from there, we're going to go down to the oven. If the filter is serviceable, I mean, if it's not uh, too carbon packed where it can't be cleaned, we'll go ahead and bring it down here to the oven. This is all automated, I guess I could say. So you can go through here, low DPFs. I don't have my password right now. So, so basically we, we can uh, put in what material the filter is made out of or who it's made by, Cummins, uh, Detroit, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, it goes ahead and basically does everything automatically. It sets the max temperature, sets the time and all that stuff. Now, this is the doors all automated. This thing can get up to 1300 degrees inside. So crazy temperatures and a long cook time, you know, sometimes eight hours, 10 hours. So this door won't open until this gets down to a certain temperature after it starts its process. You hit this, the door won't lock, and it opens. Now, the great thing about this unit here, for all you people that got the Detroit's Freightliners out there, is that we can actually stick a whole one box inside of this and bake out the SCR, the DOCs, and all that stuff. So instead of going to Freightliner and spending $16,000 on a whole new one box just because the SCR is plugged up with def and it needs cleaned, we can actually take that whole unit and put it inside here and that stuff will be disintegrated in overnight basically. So I think this is a, a kind of a game changer for us to be able to do this stuff here in house. You know, we're really excited to see how things go in the future. So that's the oven. So as I said, this thing gets really hot. I think it opens, it will open up when it gets to under 300 degrees. So still 300 degrees is pretty hot. So you're gonna have to put some welding gloves on grab the filters out. This is a cooling table. And what this does, this has fans inside of it and you got these holes in here. So it blows air up through and cools the filters off quicker. And this is like for your run of the mill. I mean, if you're cleaning DPFs out of a one box, you know, there's two, two DPFs in it, not very big ones, or a Cummins filter or whatever, you cool them down. And then you can go ahead and put them in the pulse machine here. And what this does, you put the filters in, and it's got a crank on the side. This goes, this table goes up or down to get a tight seal. This is rubberized on the top and bottom. And this has an air tank up here. And what this does uses regular shop air. It builds up so much pressure, then it pulses air down through the filter to clean it out. So after it goes through that cycle, which is roughly what I've been told, 20, 30 minutes, we haven't, we just got all this set up, so we haven't ran everything yet. Once we get everything up and running and actually start processing filters, We'll have a lot more video guys, uh, videos for you guys. Uh, so after that process, we'll bring it back to the inspection table. We'll weigh it and uh, see how much soot we actually got out. And then we can go ahead and put together a nice you know, inspection sheet for the customer and send you on your way. And also we've just uh, got a red line uh, missions products dealership. So we'll have your clamps, gaskets, and all that type of stuff to go along. If you want to bring a filter in, we've got all the products to go with it after we clean it. So. I think it's a win-win, uh, good for customers, uh, local owner operators, stuff like that, even small fleets. For this type of market, there's not a lot of services out there, I guess, that are offering something aftermarket, reasonably priced, you know, and, and good service is what it's all about. So uh, like I said, there'll be a lot more to follow in the future with uh, the new venture here. Uh, we're getting a lot of more stuff set up in here. We just bought a uh, TIG machine so we can put a new uh, bung, temp sensor bungs, pressure sensor bungs, all that good stuff. So uh, a lot to follow here coming down the road. Uh, we're pretty excited getting everything set up in here. So uh, stay tuned and be a lot more to, to come down the road. 
Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit the bell for the updates, like the video. We also have a store set up, or getting the store set up in the, here in the near future. Check us out on all the socials, Instagram, TikTok. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.